your personal information that you put out there is who you are. Be careful what you put out on social media because it might be used for you or against you in future. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Princess Beyond Passions and welcome to another video reaction from this channel. Today I'm going to bring you videos telling you how your personal information that you put out there can be used against you in future. I'm going to show you from different perspectives, from immigrations, how it can be used against you at the immigrations, how it can be used against you legally in the law, you know. I'll bring some lawyers to tell you that. Then I'll also show you how it can be used against you by HR departments if you are seeking for a job or if you have a job already. Well, you stay tuned. Let me not divulge all the information, but stay tuned and see how these things can work against you. Let's dive straight into the videos. Did you know that whatever you post on social media can have an effect on your immigration case? When you start any immigration process in this country, you are automatically placed under scrutiny of the U.S. government. And so they know about your finances, your personal relationships, and they even ask you for your social media handles when you apply for a visa to enter the United States. And so if something on your social media is suspicious, it can be flagged by an immigration officer and have an effect on your immigration case going forward. So be very careful about what you post on social media and even who you follow and what they post. Yeah, and even who you follow and what they post, right? Be careful what you put on social media because when you are putting it out there, it is public information. Now I'll tell you a quick story. A few years ago when I was working in insurance defense, we were defending a apartment complex where the plaintiff had fallen through a rail and fallen to the ground and injured himself. Now his contention was that it was a faulty rail and that he had simply leaned against it and it fell off. Well, lo and behold, we did our research. We had some of our paralegals and interns at the office come through the social media accounts and right there for everybody to see was his pictures of drinking not one, not two, but three tall Long Island iced teas and bragging about it. He even had the quote, you lean when you drink. Yes, you do. And you lean right through an apartment complex balcony. That won us the case. But the point is, you have to be very careful about what you are sharing. Because when you're putting it out there into the universe, into the internet, into the metaverse, whatever you want to call it, it can and will come back to harm you. So be careful out there, whether this is immigration, family law, or anything else. Be careful what you post on social media, part two. Let me tell you another quick story. So we represented a car insurance company. Now the policyholder called and claimed that his car had been stolen. He'd filed a police report and now he was looking for coverage under his policy. Well, our adjusters denied the claim because things didn't quite add up. This obviously led to him filing a lawsuit against the car insurance company saying this should be covered. Well, litigation ensues and we get him in a deposition. So he is sitting across the table from us where we are asking him questions. Where's your car? Do you have any knowledge of the whereabouts? When was it stolen? When did you report it? All the standard questions. He denies any knowledge of any of this, only that his car had been stolen and he had no idea. That was a trap. We already knew what happened to it because our paralegals had dug through his social media accounts and his postings on the internet and they found postings on a site called Craigslist from him advertising car parts for this exact type of vehicle for sale. And he was currently making those posts and making money from this. Same make, same model, same year of everything. He was making money. Again, lawsuit was over. We won the claim. He was guilty of perjury. His lawyer withdrew. Case over. Be careful what you're posting on social media. You never know how it's going to come back to bite you. Guys, more stories from a different perspective now. Listen, you got to be careful about what you post on social media. This is super important if you're trying to land a new job. Hiring managers and recruiters will go on your LinkedIn profile, your Facebook page to determine the type of person you are. 
And I'm here to tell you, this can cost you a job. When I was the HR recruiter, I would go on my candidates' Facebook and LinkedIn profiles, and I'm telling you, if it was anything that would be a bad representation of the company, I would not offer that person a job or an interview. So if you got controversial stuff on your Facebook page talking about fighting somebody, talking about you know how drunk you got last night, all that kind of stuff, you need to take it off your page because this can and will hurt you from landing a new job. You got to be smart about your career. The higher you go up in the career ladder, the more that you will be analyzed. Companies are not going to pay a premium or six figures to somebody who would be a liability to their brand. That's just the way it is. Guys, you want more? Let's listen to more. Be careful what you post on social media. The other day when I was waiting for my trial that never happened, I observed a detention hearing, basically a, a dangerousness hearing or a 58A as they're referred to here in Massachusetts, where the prosecutor is trying to hold a client or a defendant without bail. And so basically they have to convince a judge that by clear and convincing evidence, this person is a danger and that no conditions of release will ensure the safety of a specific person or of the community at large. So this guy was quasi representing himself. It looked like he had been appointed a public defender and yet he was not taking that public defender's advice. So sometimes they put a court appointed lawyer on standby if a person wants to represent themselves. That's what it looked like because this guy testified. I'm sure no lawyer would advise the client to testify at a detention hearing. Um, he questioned the alleged victim himself, the client did. Um, neither came across well. In his testimony, he inadvertently admitted to committing at least one other crime. And, he, and the prosecutor played a video from Snapchat, getting back to my original point. In the video, he was threatening that same alleged victim and he was telling her that he didn't care about whether a restraining order was issued because it was just a piece of paper. So obviously, what does that tell the judge? That any conditions of release are not gonna ensure the safety because he's not gonna give a shit. He's not gonna follow them. He's already said it in a video. He's threatened her in the video. He was referencing guns in the video. He referenced killing other people in the video. So again, just be careful what you post on social media. If you ever end up in a court case, it could be used against you. So if you're angry and you're going to post something, maybe wait a day, give it some thought, and you might reconsider. Did you hear that? Even if you are angry and you want to post something on social media, wait a day, let your anger abate before you come up to post stuff on social media. I had a live stream and I talked about how people come up here on the social media yeah. to tear their friends down to talk about how they make friends offline and then they come back here and they say all kinds of stuff be careful what you post on social media because in future it's gonna come back to bite you and it's gonna bite you in a place you wouldn't like it's gonna bite you in the ass you you wouldn't like it so be careful guys <laughs> <laughs> Mine is to come and tackle the issues and tell you how it is, right? Be careful what you post on social media because it might come back to bite you. Let's even take it further. You're, you're probably a young mother now or a young father or a young boy. How about you think about your children? How about you think about your grandchildren? What would you like them to remember you for? Would you like them to look back in the social media one day or somebody goes to the social media and digs up one cray cray uh, crazy video about you on the social media? What kind of legacy are you leaving for your children, for your grandchildren, for, for your great grandchildren? Be careful what you post on the social media. Don't just post stuff on the social media because you want attention, because you want more views, because you want, I don't know, money or whatever it is that you are looking for. Don't just come to the social media to post anything and any information about yourself. If you like my video, give it a thumb up and thank you for watching. In future, I'm going to react to more of these videos, you know, campaigning about the things that you post on social media. Please be on the lookout. I'll see you in my next video.